FreeRTOS, or Free Real-Time Operating System, is an open source, real-time operating system designed for a wide range of microcontrollers. Today, in this Learn Embedded Systems video, we are going to show you how to set up and use FreeRTOS on the RP2040 microcontroller, which is on boards such as the Raspberry Pi Pico. A real-time OS allows different tasks to be executed in a predictable or deterministic manner, and this is important for time-critical programs. Also, rapid task switching can give the impression of simultaneous task execution. If you'd like to learn more about FreeRTOS, then check out our other videos in this series on tasks and scheduling. I'll link the playlist down in the video description. This video is an updated version of an old video that I made on this topic, which is now updated, and I have removed from YouTube. This tutorial is considerably simpler and more relevant. Although this tutorial will assume that you are familiar with creating RP2040 based projects in VS Code. If you're not, then check out our video, links in the cards above. By the end of this tutorial, you will have made a blinky program which will rapidly blink the LED on the Raspberry Pi Pico on and off using FreeRTOS and VS Code. And this will serve as a template for any other FreeRTOS projects that you want to make going forwards. The starting point for this tutorial is going to be our pre-made GitHub template repository that I will link down below. Simply clone this repository, making sure to use the recurse submodules flag, which will download FreeRTOS alongside the repository. Do this by putting two dashes, then recurse, then submodules, before the repository URL. I'll put this whole command down below in the description for you to copy paste if you want to. This may take a couple of minutes. Once this is completed, Open the folder in VS Code and configure the project for the RP2040 by selecting the GCC for ARM kit. This should then configure the project. In this repository, we have a few files and two main folders, SRC and lib. In the lib folder, this is where the free RTOS kernel lives. You can add other libraries here if you want to, but you'll just have to make a small edit in the cmakelist.txt file, which I will show you in a minute. In the SRC, or source folder, we have our main.c file, as well as a cmakeslist file, and a file called freeRTOSconfig.h, but more on all those later. In the parent directory, we have the pico sdk import file, which is a part of every RP2040 based project. In the cmakeslist.txt file, we have set a couple of variables, including the project name, which you are welcome to change, and the path to the freeRTOS kernel. Then, we import both the Pico SDK and the FreeRTOS kernel before defining the project and initializing the Pico SDK. Then, we add the source folder directory. If you've had some other libraries in the lib folder, then you should uncomment the bottom line, but note that you will also have to create a cmakelist.txt file in the lib directory. Now, if we look in the source folder, in the cmakelist.txt file, we add the main executable before linking the Pico standard libraries and then the FreeRTOS kernel. At the end, the Pico add extra outputs function ensures that the UF2 file is generated when we build the program. The freeRTOSconfig.h file contains all the config options for the FreeRTOS kernel, but don't worry about this too much for now as we cover this file more in other videos in this tutorial series. Our main.c file is where things get a bit more interesting. This is a simple program that just blinks the onboard LED on the Pico on and off. We include a few header files, including the free RTOS header file, task.h, stdio, and finally the Pico standard library. In the program, we create two functions. One is the main function, and the other is the task that will actually blink the LED on and off. In the task function, we initialize the LED GPIO as an output before entering a while loop, which toggles the LED on then off every 100 milliseconds. And this is an infinite while loop. In the main function, we create the task, which is then run by the scheduler after it's been started with the following function. Now you can build and upload this program to your Raspberry Pi Pico, and you should see the LED toggling on and off rapidly. Well done, you've created your first free RTOS project. Check out our playlist of free RTOS on the RP2040 tutorials for more information. The next videos in this series cover tasks and scheduling, both very important topics. Thank you very much for watching. 
If this video has helped you, then please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you very much, and as always, have a nice day.